I think that the most memorable thing when I went back to a reunion one time was we were not very many of us going. I think there's only, even now, I only there's only about 13 of my class left. And at that time, there were more. And there was, we were sitting around talking one night, and uh, one of the boys came up to me, and he says, Pat, he was in a class uh, behind me. I graduated in 50, he graduated in 51. I said, Pat, he said, I knew that you were from Sedona, but I did not know that that was your grandmother. And I said, well, Mike, when did you find that out? And he said, well, we have a, Dad has a little place down there now, and he told me. I said, Mike, I knew you were Mike Adams, but I didn't know your dad was Ansel. This is the type of kids there were there. Nobody was any better than anybody else. We all did our jobs. We all worked. We all treated each other as equals. And we had a wonderful relationship because of it. My dad was kind of satirical in uh, the thing. He was never unkind, never mean, but he would have funny nicknames for people. There was an old timer named Roe Smith, and Daddy called him Fish Age Smith. I don't, it was we didn't know anything. We didn't know Roe was his name. It was Fish Age Smith. <laughs> and there was a postmaster that was Mrs. Tanner, and she had the, the raspiest voice. She was so funny. She was efficient, and she uh, well, then we got the mail twice a day, and uh, our automobile just automatically stopped at the post office every time you went by it. I don't think you, I don't think you could drive it anywhere without it going by the post office and stopping there. I, that was daddy. And he would always say, well, Squeaky Smith is in, <laughs> a Squeaky Tanner is in there. She was, she was still working tonight. And that it pleased him because he thought everybody ought to put in their full hours. But it was Squeaky Tanner. And he liked Mrs. Tanner, and he never had any complaints about Mrs. Tanner, and we all called her Mrs. Tanner, but to him it was Squeaky Tanner. I was one of the lucky college girls that had a roommate with a car, and my, because there were not 20 cars on campus, I don't think, at that time. Nobody had a car, but my roommate was from St. Louis, Missouri, and she came here in a red convertible, and so Alice brought me down to the funeral and uh, stayed with us till we could go back. And uh, the grandma's funeral was at Wayside Chapel, as that was her, that, that was her being. She loved that chapel and she helped do it and she helped do anything. There's an organ there that was dedicated to her uh, in her name, although grandma did not play the organ, she played the piano. But, and then the bell in the bell tower we had been hunting for a bell in the bell tower, and uh, there was not a bell. And my uncle Hank in Denver, which was dad's, her grandma's second son, my dad's younger brother, uh, found in Denver, and it was to be shipped, and so that we could put it at the Wayside Chapel. And of course, it or the, we knew that it had been found then, but had not been erected. So on Mother's Day, following her death. The bell was up, dedicated, and Grandpa and Daddy rang it the first time. And I'm sure that Grandma was up there helping it resonate through the entire canyon while the, the bell at the Wayside Chapel was dedicated to her. If I had any advice for my children, I'm very proud of them. I'm certainly blessed with four wonderful grandchildren and two very perceptive children and spouses. I think I would say to be sure that you open your eyes, experience all the things that you can in life, take advantage of every opportunity that you have, and do what you want to do. Don't stand back because there's an obstacle. You can work that one out. I think we all need to experience little things that we wouldn't normally do. Uh, be yourself be alive, continue to grow, read, study, uh, reach out, uh, give your time to others, give your time to yourself, and 
and rely on the situation that is around you to make you a better person and those around you better people and the place that you have lived a better place to live.